How do you differentiate love and lust? You might be too consumed by your relationship now that you actually cannot identify what you truly feel for your partner. If the reason why you wanted to be with the person was because you were attracted to his, her being, hot, then maybe it was not really love that brought you together. Probably, it was only the thrill of owning someone that could satisfy your needs and fantasies. Here are differences between love and lust that you should know to find out if you're really in love with your partner or just physically attracted to him, her. 1. Love is person-centered, lust is pleasure-centered. With love, fulfillment comes from giving what you have for the betterment of a person. You are fulfilled when you see that person happy and doing good in life. With lust, you just want to be with the person for the gratification of your needs. This fulfillment comes from committing sensual activities to quench your sexual desires. You feel fulfilled when you experience pleasure through these acts together with that person. 2. Love does not depend on physical appearance, lust depends a lot on it. Even if the person you love gets fat or s, he grows old and is not as good looking as when you first met, you would not think of leaving because of it. Your affection for your partner is not skin deep. It goes beyond what your eyes see. Nevertheless, lust is based on physical attraction. When the other person is not appealing to your eyes anymore, you eventually decide to leave. 3. Love is long-lasting, lust is momentary. Love is a long-term commitment to cherish and care for each other that is built stronger through time. You and your partner work together to resolve conflicts that can end your relationship. This is all because you do not want to lose each other, but instead you want it to last forever. On the other hand, since lust is only focused on gratifying selfish needs, making the relationship last is not in your priorities. For you, parting ways with that person does not really matter. Anyway, you only see your relationship as something temporary, and that you could always find someone, hotter, than him, her. 4. Love desires long-term commitment, lust is a no-strings-attached transaction. Like what has been discussed in the previous number, love is about making your relationship last. You dream of having a family, in short you envision sharing the future together. This involves commitment to stay faithful and enduring throughout the years. However, if you cannot imagine marrying the person in the future, but you enjoy doing fun things together now, then it is lust. You are not committed to each other. You have an open relationship. Meaning, both of you can look for another partner if you want to. 5. Love sees the other person as a partner, lust sees the other person as a sexual object. When you love a person, you see him, her as your other half, if you are in a relationship or you are married. In anything that would involve your relationship, you do not act on your own. That means when you make decisions, you always consider his, her views. Your partner is more than a need gratifier. A partner's needs and wants must be respected and honored, but lust usually violates these in order to fulfill the other person's own desires. You do not care if s, he does not agree with your decisions, because for you s, he does not have the right to meddle with your life. s, he is only there, because you both benefit from each other. Evaluate your relationship right now. If you realize all you are in is a lust-founded partnership, then you better ponder on what could be its long-term effect on you. If you let it go on for a long time, it would be hard for you to let go because of attachment and find the right person to love, 